Hey everybody, welcome back to Sailor Moon, another story. Since the last episode, I went back to town and I swapped out some party members. So we still have Saturn, of course, she's our MVP. But I grabbed Mercury for her bubble spray because reducing attack will be super handy in a boss fight that's coming up in the next couple episodes. And then I also grabbed Pluto uh, because said boss is one of the few times I'm totally down to abuse her time stop ability. <laughs> We also grabbed her Garnet accessories, I believe, back at the Tower of Time. So I went ahead and equipped those along with a tiara for extra defense since she's such a low level right now. You know, that could mean the difference between life and death for her. I also uh, updated the formation. So here you can see Mercury's in the front. It's not ideal, but it'll do for now. She is a high enough level that she should withstand any attacks that these, these guys could throw at us. So let's board the Ark. And I mentioned in the last episode that we'd be hunting down Beryl, and that is exactly what we're going to do now. I was hoping those chests might have refilled, but I guess not. This looks like the Ark's control center. But I don't see any kind of controls. How do we make it go? Could it be this Sailor Moon? Huh? This must be it. Touch the round crystal and you can pilot it. I still question if it's the Ark of Venus, why Moon is the one who gets to move it. Alright, so here we go. We now have access to the entire world. We could go anywhere right now. So controls are pretty basic. You can move forward, backward. You can use left and right to steer. The North Pole is where we want to go. And that is a northwest of where we are right now, which is Rias. So we're going to just head straight there. And there are certain events that happen uh, or that need to happen in order to progress in Chapter 4. The North Pole has two locations that we need to visit to start checking off those boxes. And here we are, battles. We have the Snow Dancers. I used to think that these guys were so pretty and cool. They are from the uh, Sailor Moon S movie, which is actually a fun fact based on a short story called The Lover of Princess Kaguya, which I did not know until recently. So fun fact, go, go hunt down that story. I'm totally interested in reading it. Uh, they, these, these guys are created by Princess Snow Kaguya to, uh, prepare the earth by covering it in snow. And so they basically attack with like ice attacks and freezing, freezing opponents and things like that. It is one of my one of my lifelong dreams to to cosplay as one of these guys. I just think they look so cool. So pretty standard attacks. We aren't hitting them for a ton. If you have my setup, Saturn is really going to be the only one doing any decent damage. Mercury, even though she's in front, isn't going to do a ton. Even though she's doing more than Moon, I think. But uh. Saturn is really... It would probably be better to just defend with everyone else. <laughs> and then it'll go faster because then you don't have to sit through all of the animations of everyone else doing their attacks. But we're just gonna keep going through this area. This area does have uh, some items that we're going to want to pick up. There's five in total. We'll probably pick up two on our way to our first destination. And there we have a life can. So that is a full HP heal to a single target, which is pretty nice. More snow dancers. I think they always attack in twos. You're gonna see a lot of those here. And Tempest has such a long animation. It takes forever. <laughs> These fights could drag on and on. I hate grinding here because of that. 
Luckily, for emulators, you can speed it up. Yeah, 69 damage is just not worth it, Miss Moon. Come on. So right now it's it's taking two attacks from Saturn to kill these guys. They're giving 820 experience, which isn't terrible for this stage in the game, but it, it's also not the best either. We are going to have to spend some time grinding in this area for basically planning for our future episodes, so that's that's not going to be a ton of fun, but I'll do it off screen, so. Uh, here we have Utahime, uh, which was a season S diamond that Mehmet sent, created from a microphone, so here we have yet another voice or uh, a music-related enemy. Uh, it was sent to attack a famous actor for his pure heart crystal. And it attacked through song, but then it forgot the lyrics to its own song, which allowed Sailor Moon to defeat it. I love that kind of humor. Yeah, we're just gonna speed through these. Their attack animations, Whirlwind Cut is super fast, but Illusion's not too bad either. So these guys I prefer because their attack animations are a lot shorter. <laughs> they give slightly more experience at 900. Unfortunately, I feel like the snow dancers are a lot more common to run into here. Here we have another chest. So we have an all cure. Yay! I wonder if the snow dancers are foreshadowing us having to meet up with Kaguya. I know this game takes place before Supers, or Super S, depending on how you say it. I would love for them to redo this game, or like make a sequel to it, including like the Supers and the Stars uh, stories and villains. I think that would be amazing. I wonder if there's... A f maybe somebody's made a fan game. I haven't looked into that. If anybody knows, let me, let me know in the comments, because I think that would be awesome. Maybe I should break out the RPG Maker and try to make one myself. <laughs> I've never studied game design though, so I feel like it would be an utter failure. All right. Well, we lost our MVP, which is not going to work for me. It's going to take forever for the others to whittle down their HP. So let's get Saturn back up and moving. If we can ever get through all the Tempests. I know you're trying, Mercury. I know you want to help. But 100 HP is not going to cut it when these guys have thousands. Life Water is one of the best things in this game. The fact that it not only reses you, but also heals 200 HP is wonderful. And they just drop from random enemies, too. It's not a super rare item. Another level up for Pluto. I think she started at 16. I'm not even going to check because we have a long way to go anyways, so if I keep checking, I'm just going to drive myself nuts. Alright, so here we have a slightly new area. We'll go to the side here and pick up a perfume. We love perfumes. Attack plus 15 to the whole party. There is a save. Uh, Luna P over here if you want to save. Which I will do, just because we've already lost Saturn once. I don't want to know what's going to happen if if I end up dying. I'll have to redo all that grinding. This is the manner of the Great Sage Barrel. We've come a long way, so let us in. Denied. <laughs> we cannot allow entry to just anyone. So rude. Makes me think of Full House, Stephanie. How rude. What do we do? We can't get inside. Try the disguise pen, Sailor Moon. Moon power! Change me into an elegant attendant. We'll be waiting here for you. Good luck! 
I don't know what she means by attendant. She's kind of just a maid. I'll be back as soon as I can. Though the maids have fancy outfits. The cute little dress there. Who are Th Throb? <laughs> What's Throb in there, guys? <laughs> Your heart or something else? Wow, they're really going at it. No, it has to be my imagination. All right, you may pass. Yeah, the disguise pen, it, it's basically the superhero syndrome where they supposedly look so much different, but I just don't see it. Sage Beryl wields the mightiest magical force in all the world. Isn't she astounding? Our Lady Sage has disciples throughout the world. So Beryl's like a pretty well-known person here. The Lady Sage has a gloom over casting her as of late. I wonder what could be causing that. Oh, we're having a little powwow here. I feel just such deep sorrow for Our Lady. It's said, said that the prince has already pledged his heart to the moon princess. Sage Beryl's in such a painful position. How could she bear to gaze upon that couple and smile? Have you heard? The Lady Sage is in love with Prince Endymion. She doesn't exactly hide it well, so I'm pretty sure everybody knows that. I wonder if the Lady Sage is being influenced by the comet's dark energy. I do hope nothing happens. And of course, the second you say that, something's gonna happen. Sage Beryl has quite the indomitable will. I worry not for her, but for the people of the moon. Yeah, you should worry for us. Or past us. We got annihilated. Alright, we'll head back down here. Go find another area to explore. What we need to do is go right, so we're gonna go left, naturally, of course. We have to search everywhere else before our objective. Nothing in here. I don't think there's anything in any of these pots. Ah, there's a person here. Something seems odd about the Lady Sage recently. Only recently? Yeah. Beryl... Beryl has a case of the jealousy. Here we have some holy water! That's a, an 80 HP heal to a single target, so not bad. Something seems odd about the Lady Sage recently. I think we get it, guys. Beryl's acting weird. She's been doing nothing but gaze at the heavens. Or, like, the moon. In a jealous rage, shaking her fist at it. Alright, now to the east wing of the castle, or manor, or whatever this place is. Something seems odd, yes we know. And I'm concerned about Sage Barrel. I know it's a bad time it's a it's a bad idea to mess around with timelines and try to change history. But wouldn't it be neat if we could stop Beryl from attacking the moon? That would be that would be wonderful. Then again, the entire events of the Sailor Moon series would then not have happened. Here we have some more perfume. They're just giving us all the great stuff. Oh, I love her sprite here. Her hair is just so perfect. Endymion. Sob, sob. Oh, Endymion. Why won't you be mine? Oomph. I must not be swayed by this devilish comet. Even if our love is not meant to be. Who's there? Uh-oh, got caught. I'm a new attendant, my lady. <laughs> is that so? You bear quite the striking resemblance to someone I know. And loathe. Won't you talk with me for a while? Of course. Moon seems very calm around this woman who basically killed everybody she loved. A comet is approaching us. A comet? Because of it, evil powers have begun to infest Earth. And soon, a meteor shower will streak across the skies. 
It holds such beauty, yet it's a sinister portent. Before long, the Deity of Darkness shall awaken. Deity of Darkness? If this comes to pass, the Deity must be sealed away, but... From my perspective, I would gladly see everything brought to ruin. Well, that escalated quickly. Moon Kingdom, the Earth Kingdom, myself, everyone, and... All so he could be mine. These dark thoughts keep swirling within me. Could it be the influence of the comet? No, I think you're just a bitch. Please don't give in. You have to remember. If it was gained using an evil power, it isn't true love. Ever the hopeless romantic, Usagi. Thank you. You know, that's exactly what I thought the person you resemble would say. Thank you. You may leave. And she'll just... Thank you for lending an ear. And tell you to get a get, get, GTFO. <laughs> Alright, so we get a white rose, which is actually a really neat item. It's a permanent defense plus 10 increase to a single party, a uh, single person. And then we have Fira, Firamisu. I think that's supposed to be Tiramisu. I could be wrong. But that's an 80 HP heal to a single person. So not bad. The loot here, the loot is definitely getting better. There's nothing left to do here, so we will go to our next objective after a short cutscene. Of course, we have to dish about what just happened. Did you find anything out? No, not much. Beryl doesn't seem to know anything about the rose crystal. But she did talk to me about something. Maybe if we stopped Beryl here... Mucking about with time, Usagi. We could... It's just so terrible letting this play out. Sailor Moon, no. History would be changed. We can't let anyone alter the destiny the people of this age will be guided to. Ourselves in this era gave it their all. It's our history. If we did anything to change it, the outcome may be even more wretched. Somehow, it's sad. Somehow, I think it's very obvious that the whole thing is sad. Poor Beryl, I don't think she's as bad as she seems. I merely protect time's flow. Upholding it is the duty given to the Guardian of Space-Time. Pluto's just like, I don't really care. The Opposito soldiers are adamant about achieving their wishes for this era. Not giving it our all would be unacceptable. Sailor Moon, let's leave. This is heartbreaking, but there's nothing we can do. Yeah, we should be going. It's interesting getting to kind of see a little bit of Beryl's origin story. I still don't like the fact that like they're trying to just blame it on a comet, but... I always love villain, villain backstories and like origin stories and seeing like how they turned into terrible people, or at least willing to do terrible things for whatever cause they are for. So now we're going to fight our way around here, grab a few more items, which hopefully won't take too terribly long because these snow dancers just suck. As pretty as they are, they suck. I'm just going to start speeding these up. My, um, the, the attacks I'm using... Now, I re we really should start using more Link Techs. Um, as you use Link Techs, you do actually sort of level them up. I believe it's it's LEP or something like that. It's basically like points that you earn. And I don't think they're recorded anywhere. I think it's pretty much kind of a behind the scenes thing. But the more you use Link Techs, the more powerful they, they're supposed to get. So we really should be using them more. I'll try to do that in the future. Come on, Saturn. It'll be wonderful when she can just start one-hit killing these guys, so we don't have to go through two whole rounds of this. Alright, so that... We go south... There's another one. We have some sugar star candy. That basically... 
I think that is another permanent stat boost. I think that's attack plus five, which I'll break these out. These, the permanent ones, obviously, I'm always, I'm just like with any RPG, I'm always very hesitant to use items, especially like one use items. And then they sit in my inventory until the very end of the game. And then there's no point hanging on to them anymore because it's the end of the game. So I'll, I'll probably decide in the next episode or two who I want to use these these items on. Because um, I think we've, we've gotten a few of these now, these permanent stat boost items. And they're not going to do anybody any good just sitting in our inventory. All right. We have to go down here. Down and around. We have to take the long way. The water is going to be way too frigid for us to just swim across. We'd get hypothermia. All right, over here. Ugh, oh, so close, yet so far away. Oh, and another fun fact. The word utahime in Japanese actually translates to songstress, so it's quite fitting for this daimon. Oof, that hurts. That is painful. Yay! You are down. And we have the Amber Tiara. So when I switch back to Uranus, I'll have to give that to her. So that, I think that's her second accessory. I think we also have one sitting in our inventory for Neptune. So I'll have to remember when we switch to Neptune to swap an Aqua. Aqua Marine Bra- uh, I don't know what accessory it was. I was gonna say bracelet, but whatever it was to her when we have her again. All right, there's one more treasure up here somewhere. All these little, ah, oh, there it is. And a deluxe boxed lunch. A full, a full HP heal for the whole party. We love those types of items. We're gonna be needing some of these nice items for the boss fight that I keep alluding to. It probably won't be the next episode that we take on that boss, but probably the episode after that. Pluto's just racking up those levels. All right, now we're going to the southwest corner of this area. And we'll find a little village. These are nice little houses. Quite cozy with their little fireplaces. Suits of armor. Cozy little, a cozy little north pole, town, town in the north pole. Just where everybody wants to live. I believe the Earth-Moon Alliance should only be strengthened, yet the verdict lies with the Earth King alone. So we are in the Earth Kingdom. Actually, it never occurred to me that the Earth Kingdom was in the North Pole. For some reason, I never really pictured it in the North Pole. But according to this game, here we are. The Moon Princess and Prince Endymion are quite close. I'm so envious. Yes, they're, they're very close. Here we have an inn. You can save. Nobody over here to talk to. Literally, there's just suits of armor everywhere. I feel like this is one of those places where like every single male you meet is probably in the military in some capacity. Uh, so you can buy a few things here. Um, I'm not going to right now. We don't need anything. We can, you can buy some basic accessories. It's, life syrup isn't very common either. I, I don't know if you can get that elsewhere. So 
It seems Prince Endymion has been gone for quite some time. I wonder where he went. What will the cabinet ministers decide to do about our alliance with the moon? I'm concerned. Uh-oh. We've got some political tensions going on here. All these houses are empty. I guess they're pretty to look at. Makes me want to go to some, like, nice cabin in the winter. This is the Earth Palace. Alrighty. We just walk in willy-nilly a Sailor Moon. Huh? Is that the moon, princess? Shouldn't you be on the moon? <laughs> Sailor Moon, you dits. You can't just walk around like this. What's up, Luna? You have the most obvious hairstyle. Everybody's gonna know who you are. It looks like the people in the palace know Princess Serenity, you think? It'd be a bad idea to go inside a Sailor Moon. Well, it's too late for that. Everybody's already seen her. You should use the disguise pen. All right, let's turn into the well-dressed maid again. That'll solve all our problems. Doesn't change her hairstyle or anything like that. Just her clothes. All right, time to explore around here. Prince Endymion? Oh, he's off visiting the Moon Princess, of course. Ah, oh, busy, busy, busy. Beyond here is a meeting being held about the future of the Earth-Moon Alliance. Please refrain from entering. Well... And they say the same thing. You don't want me to go in there? Well, guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go in there. We've been looking after the moon for quite some time. But I've wondered recently, is there a need? I throw my lot in with the people of the moon. The stability of our relations must continue. Well, were we to cut ties with the moon, one must consider the matter of whether we can live in peace. We must continue seeking Sage Beryl's counsel. She won't lead us astray. That's what you think. Hmm, I agree. The Earth King must be Endymion's father. Then we'll place our concerns regarding the comet on Beryl's shoulders. Let us turn our attention toward future dealings with the moon. You guys are putting way too much trust in Beryl! She's not a good person. Alright, so. These chests are one of my biggest freaking pet peeves. Because you can't get them without cheating. As far as I know. Basically, there's actually stuff in them. One of them has a holy water, and then one of them has a life can. But the only way to access them is by using a walkthrough walls cheat, which requires two controllers. So I don't have it. I can't do it. I can't even attempt to do it. But it just, it just really upsets me that there's actual items that you can't get without cheating. Can you keep a secret? Prince Endymion has gone to the moon again to visit its princess. Yep, he's got a crush. And we'll wander around here. Anybody over here? Ah, here we go. Keeping organized around here is a veritable nightmare. Arg. He's very frustrated. Ugh, busy, busy, busy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wish I could help that guy organize his library. I love sorting books. They always have to be in alphabetical order, based on series or book title. If you wanted to save, there's Luna P. Now if we come in here... Guess who? 
It seems the prince is spending time with the moon princess again. We have Kunzite! Yes, the Shitenno are here! And they each have their own room. And I thought that that was just a super nice detail to add into this. Five lady warriors arrived in our lands. They claim to be searching for the Black Moon. At least that's what Sage Beryl said. The Lady Sage is so calm and wise. A truly sensible woman. Yeah, we all know what you guys- you guys are gonna follow her to the ends of the freaking earth. Or the ends of the moon, I should say. A strange man was seen holding the rose crystal. Is he bringing it to the prince? That crystal is very important. And last but last not least, Jedites. Prince Endymion's away again, it seems. He left us without even telling us. Yeah, he does that. I do like the little bit of a hint that like maybe he doesn't fully trust his generals. Maybe he maybe he isn't telling them things because he thinks that they're already on uh on Beryl's side or something. Or it could just be that he doesn't want anybody in his personal business. I thought there might be something hiding behind the curtain, but never mind. Alright. So we can go now. That is I think all there is to see here. Turn back into Sailor Moon. I just... Now that I've left the castle... Oh, we have to change into the attendant again. I just want to check one more time <laughs> if those guys have moved out of the way of those damn chests. No, of course they have not. Ah, this is so frustrating. So yeah, you can get those by cheating. I guess. And it's not that the holy water and the life can aren't, aren't bad items either, so... They would be worth... They would be worth it, but again, I don't have two controllers, and the cheats that require two controllers, like the 90, like the level 99 cheat, uh, they don't seem to work for me. Yeah, I can't get the, the two controller cheats to work. So I am going to head back to the Ark, which we'll, we'll be heading to the, to the northwest to find the Ark again. And I think once I'm back there, I'm going to end the episode. So today was just kind of a lot of story. The two things that you have to do is uh, have the conversation with Beryl and then uh, witness the scene in the throne room with them talking about the Alliance. Uh, those two things trigger progression in chapter four. Uh, so now that those are done, I am actually probably going to use this area to grind because like I said before, chapter four is really where the difficulty level starts to ramp up quite a bit. And there is, now the boss I keep alluding to is an optional boss. Uh, you do not have to go fight it, but I'm going to because I like to do things thoroughly or as thoroughly as I'm capable of. So this optional boss though is quite a doozy. Quite a doozy. Am I like 85? It can be an absolute bitch to take down. Especially because once once you take it down, there's a little bit of a surprise. So we're gonna do some leveling. I'm I'm probably going to also level the other party members too, and ju just so that nobody gets left behind. And since I'm gonna be grinding between episodes, I don't. It's not gonna be footage that I have to cut out. So it'll probably just be easier to get everybody kind of leveled up to around the same level. The goal is gonna be a minimum of level 35, basically. So. Yeah, so I'll do that off screen in between episodes. So the next time you see me or hear from me, we will be ready to continue. If I could just make my way back. Of course not. No, got to got to get one last enemy in there. Once I get back, I'll I'll pull up where we currently are to see how long of a journey we have to go. She's still not one hit killing them. That is so frustrating. All right, can we make it? Can we make it? Yay, okay. So. All right, so I'm gonna do some grinding here. I'm not gonna get on the arc just yet. Let's see, Pluto's up to 23, not bad. We've got 20, Saturn's 26, Chibi Moon's 26, and then the other two are 
So we've got a little bit of a ways to go to get up to 35. Uh, it's not it's not terrible. Some of the other characters uh, that are still waiting at Redina's place are probably a much lower level. But I am probably going to grab them, get them leveled up too, while I'm off screen in between episodes. So we have that to look forward to next time. And we will continue the story next time. We're going to go to a, a surprise a surprise place that we haven't been to yet. See some interesting things and yeah. So lots to look forward to. Thank you as always for watching. I really enjoy making these videos. I love this game. I'm having a lot of fun and I hope you guys are too. So I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.